Hi there everyone, I'd just like to say a big thank you, I've reached uh, 50 subscribers on YouTube so thank you very much for liking and subscribing to my channel I uh, hope you're enjoying the content that I'm providing and uh, please do provide any feedback in the comments do like the videos and carry on subscribing thanks for watching Hi guys, so I'll put the sump in um, and I've connected up the Raspberry Pi now it's all wired up, so it's all wired to the pumps and everything so you can see lots of cabling coming through there. Still got a bit more work to do on it. Um, but it's just booting up at the moment. I'll just show you the boot up sequence. So on reboot it actually starts the sump. So if there's ever a power failure, the Raspberry Pi will start again and uh, the sump and heater will come on for the tank. So there you go. It'll come on. You can hear it going. It's now coming through into the tanks. Let's see. Feeding through all the tanks. And now it's starting to come through into the sump here. So this K1 coolness uh, needs to be fluidized yet, so I need to get up the air pump. That's going to be my next job. Uh, it's to start fluidizing that. Plus, I need some more K1 in there. I've got some K1 on my other mini sump. Um, so that'll be in there. Um, so I've got the alpha grog in there, got another heater in there, look, uh, which just needs to be attached up. So the alpha grog, and then you've got the pump in there. Um, that's just a spare a sp uh, bubble up filter that I just want to make sure that they get cleaned up. Um, but yeah, that's the alpha grog. Awesome. Yeah, all that'll be fluid iced. And as you can see, we've got the uh, fluidized meat here in there now, so um, that's not as much as I'm going to have in there. And I'm also going to put another air stone in there. I just want to show you how that uh, does that. So, water goes in there through the, uh, the moss, could be putting, could be putting some carbon in there as well. Um, through the fluidized media, so the came and cooled this, and through into the alpha grog, which is down there, and then through into the final compartment, which is heated. And there, and then obviously we can blow valves in the pump system. So I'm probably going to replace that pump so that it's going to be big enough to do the, the main all the tanks. Uh, Here we go guys, so uh, this is the project uh, of the Raspberry Pi in the fish room. Um, it's now got a circuit board in there which controls the float switches and also the thermometers. So uh, those little jump cables there are where the thermometers go. And then up there I've got the two uh, switches, float switches connected in there as well. So they will basically get controlled by the Raspberry Pi. So if I show you um, on the computer, so what we've got here, you can see that, uh, I've got a process that's just checking whether the Raspberry Pi switch needs to be on, at the moment it doesn't, this one is saying it's on, because that's the bottom switch, that's the safety switch, um, yeah, so here we go. So there's the bottom switch lifted up, so that's the cut-off switch, so the water level drops below that and turns that switch effectively into the on position, then that will cut off the heaters and the pump and protect the equipment. And then the top switch there, which is engaged, uh, which is basically making sure that, uh, you see there, basically making sure that the water level is topped up, that drops and the water will kick in, I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, here I've got um, a valve on the water main, so basically this is a solenoid valve, controls the flow of the water, so when I need to do an automatic top up, uh, this valve is opened and the water flows through, so it's a bit uh, messy at the moment when I set it up, but basically that's all going to be supported up there and properly plumbed in, uh, but I also just want to make sure that it's all in working properly. 
down. So we have a green hose pipe at the moment, which is here. You can see it's off. Um, boat switches are down there, all connected up with waterproof sockets. So with some help of the Raspberry Pi computer there, or the computer there that's just going to trigger the Raspberry Pi command. Um, we've got the feed, port feed here, which is this green hose pipe, and we've got the float valve. So now we're just going to replicate that by just pushing the valve down. Okay. And the wall comes on. So as soon as I release that float valve, switches off. 